Hi teachers, did you know there's a new setting on Schoology in which you can change the theme? This theme is visually more kid-friendly for kids and a lot faster for teachers to customize. I'm Emma Balansai and I'm going to show you how to change your Schoology theme setting and quickly customize your page. There are three things that I really enjoy about this new option. Number one is that you're able to add large icons that are easier for kids to view. Number two, it's a lot easier for students to turn in their assignments. It has these visual buttons here that are easy for students to be able to upload photos or record videos or even type a response. Finally, it is overall kid friendly, visually simple and easier for teachers to customize. Okay, so let's get started. First, we're going to go here where it says Course Options. Click there and then go down to where it says Edit Privacy slash Course Settings. Click there and you're going to see this window pop up. In the bottom where it says Course Theme, you need to make sure it's under Elementary. Secondary is the traditional version we've been using, but the new one I showed you is called Elementary. Click Save Changes. Now we can get started with adding all our folders. Go to Add Materials, click on Add Folder. Go ahead and title your folder what you want and you're going to add an image. I'm going to title my folder Work This Week or simply, actually I'm going to title it just Work and color coded yellow. The students will not see this color code. This is just for me. They will see whatever image you upload here. If you don't add an image, it's going to automatically give them this purple square with the yellow star. So click on Edit Image and upload your own icon. Here I have all of these icons that I'm going to share with you in a minute. Um, but for this folder, I'm going to add the one that says Work and it's a yellow circle icon. And then simply click on Create. You're going to see it the old fashioned way here, but when you go to the student view, the students will see the icon. I do want to share these Schoology icons with you. They are free, so you can look at the link under this video and it'll take you to my TPT store called Emma Balansai or Amazing Teacher. And you can simply download all of these 32 Schoology icons. They come in English and Spanish. Once you have selected the icons that you want to use, you can continue adding more folders. For example, here I'm going to create a folder for all of my Zoom links. And then I'm going to edit the image, click on upload, and I'm going to choose the blue Zoom icon. I also included a green one in case you're a dual teacher and students need to have a a zoom for the English component and the Spanish component. And there you'll, there you'll see the icon. Click on Create. I am going to show you how to add one more icon. So add folders. I'm going to use the pink one and this one's going to be for centers. I think it's a good way for students to practice how to upload activities and assignments. And then in case they need to go remote, they'll have some practice on how to upload their, their work. I do want to show you how I set up my work for the week. Here in this folder, I put it by weeks, week 2, August 9 to August 13. And then I set it up by day. And then you can also add an icon or a visual to the assignment. So here you go to Add Assignment. You can go ahead and title it. And you can also add an image here. It could be an image of maybe the composition book they're going to use or the activity they're going to complete. Or maybe if there's um, an assignment that they're going to be doing online, you can do a screenshot. So it's very easy for students to identify visually what the assignment will look like. For example, here, I added an assignment for the math journal and the instructions are write numbers one through 20 and take a picture. In order to make it visually easier for students, I'm gonna add an image and since their journal is red, I'll add that composition book there so the students have a better understanding of what they're supposed to do. 
I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions. Like this video and subscribe to my channel in order to watch more teacher tech tutorials.